Hi Tubes. Hey, we're going to play around today with the DAC settings on the 2465 Bravo. Uh, we're going to be on page uh, 5 TAC 3. And uh, this is also assuming that you've done the low voltage supply adjustments on the same page, uh, you know, towards the top of the page there. So with that being said, I know that the other page I showed was a little blurry, but we're going to do some close-ups as you see right here. So to start with, we'll be in paragraph 2, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to push this delta T right here. And it's real important to do that because what that does is it sets up the cursor. And you're going to be using the cursor to actually uh, set the referent uh, DAC bullet. So here's the adjustment. It's this delta T, and you have to hit the delta T push button. And what that does is it brings up those cursors like I mentioned. And we've done the push. And the objective, obviously, here is to get the two readings and add them together to get 2.5 volts. We're going to be on pin 13 of J19 on the motherboard or main board, as they call it. It's A1 board. It's right there. And uh, to start off with, we're already on the left at uh, minus uh, 1.5. I'm going to drop the decimal point for the reason I'm just going to call it 1250 for future reference and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm actually adjusting the delta T to see how it affects it uh, this was my first time through it uh, this is actually a voice dub over so uh, I'll explain some of the things I've done and are doing uh, while doing this so what they want us to do now is uh, to go ahead and set the digital multimeter I've already done it you see that that was just a reminder for me to push that button because the first time I went through I forgot to do that so when we move the cursor all the way counterclockwise we're going to end up with a should be 1250 there and they ask you to take note of this I, I don't really think it's important to take note of it uh, trust me you're going to be going back and forth enough you're going to know what these voltages are just by skipping back and forth here and I've actually cut this video down quite a bit uh, try to just cut to the chase that's why the video is only six minutes I think it actually took me about oh, 20 minutes to a half an hour actually going back and forth to get the reading right now the curse is all the way on the right which is that next step and it's at 1245 uh, initially I didn't think it was possible to get it any further and I kept trying to adjust it and it wouldn't go any further and what happens is you have to actually go and adjust this little DAC here and here I'm doing what they call take note of the reading <clears throat> and when you add the two together uh, if you take off the signs uh, you should end up with two and a half volts as I mentioned earlier and then you're supposed to divide by the divide it by two and then get a reference and this is the the actual adjustment point for centering it up and that's on this page depending on the version of the PDF you have and here it is this is on the A5 board it's on the top top left corner there and uh, right here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this crazy little math they have you do you really don't need it but I did it anyway since it was part of the procedure And here's where I actually take the difference, which is 0.05, and I divide it by 2, thinking that I could probably just go ahead and make an adjustment with it and offset it by <laughs> 0 .02, 0 0.025, and it really didn't work. You just really have to just make the adjustment. Just keep going back and forth, and eventually it'll work out, as you see when we get towards the end of the video here. So I set it really high. I just really wanted to see what would happen uh, with the with the reference voltages when I moved them around with the cursor. And at this point, I was like, "Hmm, if I got negative, you know, 20 on this side, and you know, negative 1250 on this side, and positive 1250 on this side, if I'm in the middle, I thought it would get zero. So then I got the bright idea to go ahead and try to adjust it there. That was a bad idea." Um, when you're sitting that low, there is no real control over it. I mean, you can see I only got two, uh, two millivolts out of that whole deal there, and it really threw everything off. So at this point, I said, well, let's go ahead and go back to the uh, right side. 
and see where I'm at. <laughs> I didn't really make any good gains, obviously. So I decided to go ahead and uh, try to adjust it again. The only reason I showed this in the video is because somebody, if I can think of this, and I've been a tech for over 30 years, then somebody else is going to think of this and then try to do it. So I said, you know, I'm just going to throw this in the video and show you guys. Uh, that idea doesn't work. And since the video is so short anyway, six minutes, I, I thought I would show it. Now right here, if you look at the vertical line, you'll notice there's, there's a curvature to that. And you, although it's there, uh, later on you will actually get an opportunity to go ahead and uh, adjust that out. So here I'm back down adjusting the uh, negative side again. All right, so let's go back up to the top side and see where we're at. And I'm at uh, 1250. Now this is after quite a bit of adjusting, goofing off and going back and forth, back and forth. Notice I took the other one, the reference, and I put it in the middle. I don't know if that helped or not, but I put it anywhere so I wouldn't get confused. And we're at uh, 1251, and it, it eventually drifted back down to there. And like I said, you'll get to you'll get the opportunity to adjust that cursor out. So after going back and forth quite a bit and adjusting our 2010, uh, you pretty much get to the point that hey, you're done. And so that's pretty much how you do it. It's just easy. It just takes time to do it. There's the uh, J19 pin 13 and, uh, test point again. And then I'll go ahead and show the uh, pot. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you learned something, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to help the channel, please subscribe. God bless y'all. Keith Nunya out. Bye.